Okay, so this video is just going to show you some of the basics for um, School Loop and setting it up um, with your gradebook and your settings and all the categories and things like that. Um, of course, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to emhs.schoolloop.com and log in with your district credentials. Okay, and then um, once you're in, um, you're going to see all your classes, all your courses lined up here in the different periods that you teach. Um, now, you can add assignments to your gradebook straight from here or from within inside the gradebook. Um, I'll just show you from inside the gradebook. You just click and go to whichever course you want to start adding assignments to, and then you'll go in to add the assignment. And it will hopefully load faster than this. Let's try again. Okay, so here we go. Um, you want to give it a title, whatever it is. Let's say it's, you know, homework, whatever it is. Um, and then the most important things are a title, of course, um, the due date. So when it's due, by default, it will go to the next school day. So since this is a Friday, it's going to and go to Monday that it would be due. Um, but you could change it if it's um, going to be a longer assignment. And then you want to give it points, an amount of points that it's worth. Okay. Um, you can add a description as much as you want, you know, to page 75 in your book, whatever it is, whatever the instructions are. Um, you can also um, add files. Um, to attach to it, maybe a, a whole description of the assignment, links if there's websites that they should be going to and things like that. Um, now, as soon as I publish this assignment, it's gonna go to the calendar, um, the course calendar, and also into my gradebook, which of course I want so that I can grade it. And then if you have your Google Classroom link to it because you're using Google Classroom, it can also appear there for you, all right? Um, time to complete, this is just for if you, um, if you want to give a suggested time limit. So, you know, if it's something that you want them to spend an hour on, you know, and not just throw together in five minutes, you could put that so that they would know it's kind of a suggested time. Um, if it's a test, you can kind of give it a, like a little priority alert there. That's new um, so that the, the students see that it's got some um, uh, more of a priority. They should pay attention to it. Um, then once you've put in all the information you want, and again, the most basic, all that you have to have to put is the title, due date, points, and then you can publish it, and then it'll be here in your gradebook. Now, the reason right now these assignments have um, little grayed out X's is because they're appearing to me and also to the students as assignments, but um, the grades, if I started putting in grades here, only I would see them because it's got the little X. If I want students to see what they got on the assignment once I put the grades in, then I have to go to that publish um, button there and publish it here as well. So that's the progress report publishing. And then once you have published it, it'll get this green dot. And that's how you know that the students are going to see the scores as well. Um, when they when you finally put stuff in okay so that's kind of the basics for adding the assignment um, now in order to set up the gradebook the way you want um, or the way your department um, asks you to is you have to go into the settings over here and um, you're just going to go a couple places first you might go to categories um, so um, you know maybe your department has you guys um, do waiting. If you do waiting, you definitely have to have the categories because you're going to wait the different categories. So let's say you have tests and and quizzes, and they get different amounts of weight um, in your grading system. You want to set up the categories first before you do the waiting. So that'll be your first stop in settings is categories, and you can go in and you can um, add categories. You can delete ones that won't be used. There's probably going to be some default ones in here. Um, but if you don't assign um, 
a weight to it, then it won't pick it up anyway. So you can still have a bunch listed here even if you're not going to use them. So once you've set all the categories that you might possibly use for your weighting, you go back, sorry, um, back to the settings index over here. And then from there, you can go into your grade book settings. And this is where you'll do weights and grade scales. So the two places you're probably going to want to visit in here are the weights, especially if you're using categories. So if you're going to use categories, you first have to turn on the weights, and then everything has to add up to 100. So let's say I do 50% here, 40% um, here, and 10% here. And well, let's say no, I'm not going to use quizzes at all. I'm just going to give tests, right? And as long as my weights add up to 100% down here, we're good to go. Okay, and then you can just submit right there. I wouldn't worry about the extra credit stuff unless your department has a system in a way they already do it. Um, just do your categories and uh, make sure they add up to 100. And I can explain to you another way to add extra credit without worrying about this because that can sometimes mess the things up a little bit. All right, so once you have those categories set, and they all add up to 100% based on the percentage of the grade it's going to count for the students. You can submit that. I don't use that, so I'm going to turn it off. And then you go back into your gradebook settings right here, and then you can check your grade scales. So this is, uh, there's the default scale already set up for you, but if you disagree with any of these, okay, because you have a special way of doing it, say no, no, they have to have a 98 if it's gonna be an A plus in my class, you can change these um, to what is acceptable for you on your grade scale. And then once you've made your changes, you just say submit. And then all of that will automatically calculate. Once you've set all that stuff up, it's going to automatically calculate your grades that way once you start entering the grades. So you know, you give this student a grade here, and you'll see that it comes up over here. And let's just say um, they did a really just average job on this assignment. You know, It's going to automatically start calculating their grade for you based on those settings that you've put into the gradebook settings. So that's kind of the basics, and I am available to work with you one-on-one -on -one and help you um, during your conference period before school after school. If you need help, just contact me by email or phone.